Are there days when you dread the role of being a caregiver? Days when you feel guilty for being impatient or angry with a loved one when you're aware that you are using the last ounce of patience you have and hoping that you don't explode or snap and say something regretful. On how many occasions do you feel that your loved one says or acts in a particular way on purpose because they know their words or actions upset you? Have your days of caregiving become a game of cat and mouse to see who will lose control first. You or the person for whom you are providing care. Has caregiving become exhausting? Family members looking in from the outside may tell you that you should have more patience and understanding, yet they have never spent an entire day, let alone an entire weekend, with your parent or the person needing care. They refuse to allow you to spend money to retain in-home caregiving assistance or any help so that you can take an afternoon off. All you feel is a lack of appreciation and a desire to run away and never return. If family members are in the telling mode versus the helping mode, ask for a weekend off. Let them accept the role of caregiver. Being the armchair quarterback is so easy when family is looking in from the outside. Everything changes with actual experience. As a family caregiver, it's unrealistic to believe that you can and have to do everything for a loved one. Task work can be done by others in order to preserve time for focusing on relationships and positive activities. Once a loved one is passed, you can't turn back the clock and regain lost time. Make time today to change your caregiving role to focus on the relationship rather than the tasks. If you need help setting caregiving boundaries, articles, videos, podcasts, and more information is available on the CaringGeneration.com website. I'm Pamela Wilson of The Caring Generation, an online community of support for family and professional caregivers.